welcome to the very homie. I've been making hits. I'm the rap Derek G to let your bitch ride on. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Fat Dollars, aka Mr. Tutty Tutty, bringing you some Madden 18 tips to help you be able to win more games. You know, I'm all about the real deal, man. I don't like to do practice mode, I do that every once in a while on the Patreon. But since the new patch, and I got a broken controller, I got some gameplay for y'all. Look at this right here. Not having the right stick and the left trigger working, my quarterback is completely turned backwards because my target passing is always turned on about 90% of the time. So I just chuck the ball down the field. You know, I'm, I'm playing with my controller during the gameplay. Everybody got 98 and 99s on the squad. So this time of the year, I'm gonna always be Outmatched. I mean, I got Kelvin Johnson and a couple other players, but I don't have Sean Taylor, so I don't have nobody 98, 99 overall, let alone having three 98s or three 99 overalls. And that's a lot of what I've been seeing since I played today. I played about four games total. I played the first game, quit that game as soon as my target passing went on. Then I played around with the joystick, jumped into another couple games, and then I ended up winning them, but it just takes so much longer. But... I realized since the patch, not as many people run cover three, but you can beat cover three real easy. All you need to do is have a fade route and an out route and whatever other route, if you got three wide receivers on one side, leave that concept in. That's all you got to do to be able to co beat cover three. If it's on the right hash, you want your receivers to be on the left side of the field. If it's on the left hash, you want your receivers to be on the right side of the field because you want your fade to go down the, down the field but then go out toward the out-of-bounds kinda so you can throw that out deep bomb all the way down the field. So if you're in the middle of the field right there, right, like I am right now, I'm on defense right now. If you're in the middle of the field, this is when you want to put your runs in. I like to put my run plays in in the middle of the field to get me to one of them hashes for the one play touchdown. So that's a key tip that I'm telling y'all right now. It's very important. If you don't want to go in a game that takes forever because somebody constantly running the ball, running the ball, running the ball, I got something to stop that. If you ain't a Patreon, go check my Patreon page out. I gave you a whole setup with Cover 4 Show 2, Cover 6, Cover 3, Cover 2 Blitzes, all that type of things that you need to be able to win on defense. On offense, you only got to have a 3 to 5 play sequence. On offense, it's that simple. Especially with all the new fixes and the new patch that they just dropped. All you need is a three to five play sequence. You need a one play touchdown from both sides of the field. The left hash and the right hash. And then you need a pretty decent run game. And the key to running is IDing somebody to get that initial block. This is the key that I'm telling you that will take your game to a whole nother level. I guarantee it. But you can see me right now. I'm having a lot of trouble on defense. We get that sec right there. But I'm having a lot of trouble on defense because my play art on my player is always showing because that trigger is stuck. Look at my yellow zone right there. I can't get out of it. He's always stuck. I got to do all quick adjustments. I can't QB contain none of the key and important things that I need on defense. But we still walk away with a dub. Remember, streak and out route. Right hash, receivers on the left. Left hash, receivers on the right. Watch you win some games.